Hello everyone. You saw my little uh, pet goblin there. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, first of all, open up Test Construction Set. I'll uh, put a link in the description. Okay. Um, open up the master file. Double click to there's an X. It's okay. I'll turn you back on when it's done loading. Okay, now it's done loading. Uh, we're going to go to Actors, right here. Uh, creatures. And any one of these, but we're going to do Creatures again. And then you choose the creature you want to have as your pet. And you go say, uh, I did, uh, let's do, I want a pet deer. Double click one of the deers. And right here, you can click Preview Full, and it shows the deer. Okay, and um, over here, the name of the deer, you name it. Um, my pet deer. Okay, the name is simple, or you can name it Bob, or whatever the hell you want. <laughs> um, then you can change its strength. I don't really worry about that, but if you want, you can change its strength, and the speed, and endurance, all that crap. Uh, the health of it, yeah. Uh, you can put other items in here by going to the items spot in here and uh, dragging them over. But so if you killed it, then you search its body and have whatever item you put in there. Which you don't want to kill your pet, now do you? <laughs> um, let's see here. That's pretty much. You don't have to do a whole lot with this part, but um. Yeah, that part's pretty simple, okay. So now you just press OK. Remember, the ID number says Creature Deer Buck. That's what you have to remember. Okay. And, sorry, I kind of like exited out of this. Um, deer. Creature Deer Buck, and it put a little star next to it like that. To know that you edited it. So, um, now we go to, down here, you go to, if you have a house you want to keep it at, or whatever, uh, go to wherever if you want if you have a house you want to keep it in go to interiors and then find the inside of your house what it's called like yeah it's pretty easy to find and then uh but they say you don't want it in there you can just go to imperial market district click double click that and then wait for it to load right here and normally just use uh normally just use the space bar and the shift key uh, for this. It's mainly what I use. Let's see here. Oh, okay. in that video you saw he was in a fence. I saw he didn't run away because he kept running away. But uh, I don't know if yours will or not. But um, anyways, so you should go to actors, actors, creatures, creatures again deer then the one with the star on it click and drag it right there now he'll be floating up in the air he's like way up high now keep him at the at a spot where he'll land and then just press F the F key and it'll bring him all the way down there here uh see now he's standing directly on the ground perfect and then you can double click him and you can change his rotation of where he's standing and stuff and you can change how big he is like this scale option right here you can make him huge, you can make him really small, you know, whatever you want. And then this is the most important part. Click this little tab that says ownership. Because this part doesn't have anything to do with, don't worry about that. Ownership. Now click this little scroll down button for NPC. And then have your mouse right there and type P L. And then it'll come up to a spot that says player right here. Click that and that's you. So NPC says that's player so you own this deer so it won't attack you or run away from you if you go near it uh, it might run out of the city because it's not supposed to be in there that's what my goblin did but you know so say if you're gonna have a goblin if you switch it to player it won't attack you and okay and now that's pretty much it now in the last video I didn't show you how to put this on the game so I'll show you that right now so you click save and then save it as my pet. Then click save. 
Now you can just minimize this. And uh, open up Oblivion. Right click, whatever. Open it. Uh, then you should go to data files. Hold on. Go to data files. And then find the one that you have that you just saved. You saved it under my pet. Wait. Uh, yeah, my pet. Um, can't find it for some reason. There it is. Now just double click that. And make sure that's on. Hold on. Okay. Then you just press OK. And I'll try and show you this really fast, but I have to. I'll pause it until I get to the Imperial City. Okay. Um. Let's see if this works. Hopefully it doesn't run away. I kind of have a bad feeling he'll run away, but let's see. I'll try and run and look at him real fast. Wait, he's behind me. He's right there. 